Are you new to City Heroes or a returning veteran and wanting to know about the Arachno Soldier archetype in the game? I'm Controlled Chaos and in this video we're going to go over just that. Now, the Arachno Soldier is a very unique archetype within City of Heroes. And the reason being is when you first start off making the character, you're only going to have one power set for your primary and your secondary now don't worry don't be scared by that and the reason being is as you level up you'll get to around level 23 24 and you'll be able to get a free respect and when you do this free respect you want to definitely take this and the reason being is because when you do this free respect there are more powers available to you you get two new lines to choose from either crab spider or a bane spider for both the primary and the secondary now when you choose one of those from the primary it will give you the corresponding secondary of that and that's really really cool here's the great thing though the great thing is is you will still have access to choose powers from the arachnos soldier powers or regular powers should i say and this is good it gives you a lot of powers now the difference between the arachno soldier the crab spider soldier and the bane spider soldier so the arachno soldier by default has a machine gun and throws grenades web grenades venom grenades frag grenades things like that and then they get some armor up capabilities they get wolf spider armor they get combat training that increases their defense and offense they get tactical training which enhances the defense and the attack capabilities of themselves and nearby allies plus they can call reinforcements which will call three small spider bots to come and assist them now, if you choose to go down the crab spider direction, you will get a backpack put on you that will have four arms that goes up and over your head. And all of your attacks are done with these arms. So you'll do laser blasts from these arms. You'll do slicing attacks with these arms. But you'll still be able to pull out your submachine gun if you take the arachno soldier powers with it and be able to shoot the gun use it to beat someone up the other side of the head with the butt of the gun or hit them with the bayonet things like that on the secondary power pools for the crab spider you will get a crab spider armor upgrade and this greatly increases the defenses of your character for uh, your character You'll also get fortification ability to choose from. And when you add this power on, you become more resistant to all types of damage except for psychic powers. Then you also have a serum that you can have as a power. And this maximizes your hit points for a short amount of time. And then the final power that you get is you get a summon spiderlings which summons two bigger spider bots and that's really nice there now if you choose instead of going the crab spider direction but you go the direction of the bane spider you're going to have that mace that you see a lot of the arachno soldiers carrying and you'll be able to shoot beams out of that mace and smack people with that mace and do things like that that are really good and great on the secondary side of things you'll get the bane spider armor upgrade which increases your overall health and protection to all damage types 
and along with protections against uh, a small increase of protections against uh, things like fears, disorientates, holds, sleep, stuff like that. You'll also get access to a cloaking device. You'll get access to surveillance, which focuses your, your senses and, and stuff like that. You'll be able to discover enemy weaknesses and just be able to enhance the damage you can do. And then you also have a hold ability called Web Cocoon. And once again, just like with the Crab Spider, you're still able to take the Arachnos Soldier's primary and secondary abilities to build this character up. Now, what powers you choose and how you decide to build this character up determines on how you're going to enhance and slot this character. If you've got a bunch of melee damage and ranged damage, that then of course you want your accuracies and your damages on there. For anything that's a toggle for defense, you want to slot that with endurance reductions and add uh, damage resistance or damage avoidance type stuff and then for your pets if you have the the summoning ones you want to add in accuracies and damages to them for any of your your holds or your roots you want to add more holds and more roots so that those last longer same with any abilities that weaken the enemy so that you can hit them harder you want to enhance those capabilities to make your character really strong so there's a great customization capability and i really like the way that sea heroes has done this where you sort of respect when you get halfway to 50 and you're able to build up and make your character even stronger but continue to keep some of those other powers and even respect and rechange things out because you'll have to re-slot the enhancements and everything like that the great thing is is when you do this it takes all of those enhancements that you originally put into your arachnus soldier and it stores them away and once you've done all of the choosing of the powers and your enhancement slots it allows you to retake those enhancements and re-put them back into your powers so you're not losing and having to rebuy all the enhancements all over again which i really like so if you're looking for a character where you're not having to choose oh do i want this power set or that power set or this power set and a bunch of different power sets and you want to sort of streamline and choose just between a couple but just focus predominantly on one at the beginning to get used to the game and then later on change up and get different powers this is the great archetype or class for you to play now if you found this video helpful please hit that like button share it with your friends let them know about that and if you're not subscribed subscribe and have a great day